Okay, so this is the RetroTech 120p challenge and you've darkened my doors again to mock me as I do badly at this game. As you can see from the runtime, I do do badly this week, but I did win last week. So RetroTech 120p challenge, it's a fairly simple thing really. It's as simple as, I don't know, um, a tardigrade licking a window. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Um, and basically what you do is you can have as many practice goes on whatever this week's arcade game is from the Facebook group selection um, but as soon as you press record you've got two credits and that's your lock gov um, once you've recorded your run you've got to submit it onto the Facebook group and then everyone will either laugh at you or think you're some sort of gaming god um, so this came out in 1990, no, not 1998, oh hell no, it came out in 1988, it's known as Chopper One, in Japan it's known as something else, uh, Kukukiribu, Bidu Bidu, Rubidu Bum, Bumbidi D, Dumbidum Bum, Bidum Bidum Bidum, um, that's its Japanese name, it's not, um, but its subtitle is The Legend of Air Cavalry, not to be confused with an Air Carvery, which is a pub that sells food that's only accessible from plane or helicopter yeah make of that what you will um so yeah all right this came out in um 1988 uh released on no home formats it's a pretty plain vertically scrolling shoot map probably no one was clamoring for it um it did come out uh well was re-released um on the psp in 2012 so <clears throat> if you do want to buy it um on a home format there might be a way you can still get hold of that, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if CEX has got it. Why don't you have a look? Um, but yeah, uh, it's all right. There's, there's not a lot, really a lot to say about a game like this, is there? It's uh, it's not a bullet hell. Um, it can get a bit bullet helly at times. Helly. Uh, um, but um, no, it's all right. It is what it is. Um, perfectly serviceable, run-of-the-mill, vertically scrolling shoot 'em up Now... What I've got for you this week in the gentle facts is I've decided to be a bit different because it's a bit difficult for me to come up come up with uh, f facts related to helicopters and genitals. I've cheated. And how have I cheated? Well, this week I've decided to enlist the services of ChatGPT, the latest thing on the, the market that everyone's going on about and I've actually just recorded it with the help of an African assistant. Please listen now to my genital facts of the week. Certainly. Here are three facts that connect genitals and helicopters. Fact 1. The term helicopter is often used as a slang term for the male genitalia, particularly in informal or humorous context. Fact 2. The shape of a helicopter rotor, with its rotating blades, has been compared to the appearance of certain male genitalia. Fact 3. The word helicopter comes from the Greek words helix, meaning spiral or coil, and terran, meaning wing, which could be metaphorically linked to the shape and motion of male genitalia. And thanks to Obina for that. Yes, so I used uh, ChatGPT. Hope you liked it. A bit random, I know, um, but um, I wasn't going to sit there looking for genital facts about helicopters you know i don't <laughs> so i let a computer do it and i can blame him if it's all wrong uh poor old uh, old obina which was then the name i chose um from a list of possible vocalists for the uh, facts we've given you there so what's coming up this week um well um this week um i've got a very obscure game based on a movie which is uh, cloak and dagger which was stars the kid out of et um basically it's not even like an adaption of the movie it's actually um in the movie the game is in the movie so yeah interesting interesting one definitely watch that otherwise i'll say some rude things about you in on facebook or to one of my friends and you wouldn't want that so yeah please do join in the retro tech 100 20p challenge this week there will be people who get further than that i'm sure of it um but um you don't get um an african digital voice giving you sex facts on those channels so but no look at them anyway they're they're lovely people and join in yourself um, but until next time okay thanks bye <laughs>